It's Damon Stevens, Finwealth Builders. Today is Monday, April 11, 2022. And this is stock market update for trades of the day. And boy, the bears are in control. We talked about this in our video on Sunday, you know, as we're coming into this uh, week to make sure you watch the VIX on pre-market and during the open, make sure the VIX isn't getting elevated. Um, and if so, if it does, we're going to get a pullback. And that's exactly what happened today. The other thing we talked about as well is that Bitcoin was pulling back. My theory, this is my personal opinion, uh, is that uh, if Bitcoin pulled back, that we'd probably see a pullback in the market. And that happened as well. Um, so at least for now, my theories played out uh, in the market. And so hopefully you were safe or shorting the market and making some money. So let's get right into it. Take a look at what's going on. You know, if you want to join our Discord, uh, you know, if we have a free Discord uh, where we post numbers pre-market as far as, you know, where we think uh, certain stocks are going to go. Uh, and typically we've been hitting, you know, around five out of six. Some days they hit, all of them hit. Um, so uh, if you're interested in that, definitely go out to finwealthlive.com and join us. Uh, also, there's a free training out there and also a membership uh, if you're interested in joining us uh, live. So go check it out. Let us know what you think. And uh, let's kind of get into the market, take a look. And also remember, we're not financial advisors. Uh, look at the market. You can see Dow Jones closed down 1.19%, uh, NASDAQ down 2.18%, and S&P 500 down 1.69%. Uh, and let's look at this nice little sell-off at the end of the day. So, you know, we held, couldn't break through, and it failed. So that's kind of typical. You can see here, you know, overall, uh, our heat index is red. How, how appropriate. And it's across the board. We had red across the board. So all the sectors impacted money coming out of the market, people cashing out, putting it on the sidelines, uh, or possibly expecting a more downturn here. Uh, but we did have a, a small cap. You know, it's nice to have these small caps come in here. So VERU, you know, hit our mark, you know, 182% and high volume. Uh, so we did trade this one and, you know, I put this on for after hours too, so you can see, because I'm looking at trading this one tomorrow too, uh, traded it after hours, but you can see here, uh, we had a low 434, high of 1452, just killed it. And if you uh, missed it, you still had a couple of opportunities, because you see here, it pulled back to around 11, went almost back to 14. So you could have caught that one, came back down here to, you know, just under 12 back up to 14 and after hours. So this is, you know, I caught some of this, uh, but not all of it, but we almost hit, you know, new highs again and after hours. So some of these, when they're strong like this, a lot of times they'll give you a play after hours, you get a little bit of squeeze going on. So we'll see if we get a continuation play um, tomorrow. Uh, so definitely on my short list. SST, this is multi-day trade as well. Uh, you can see here, uh, we finished out the week, you know, hit 3408 after, you know, a pullback. Uh, down here to around 20, just under $20. Uh, then we pull back down to 21 as well over the weekend. Had a nice little rally up to 29. Uh, pull back here above the 20. Looking for another play tomorrow. SST looking good. Looking at our earnings. CarMax on Tuesday morning. Going to be watching this one. And then Wednesday, we have Delta, BlackRock, uh, Beth, Bath, Bed Bath & Beyond. Thursday, all of our banks, our banks coming in. And uh, Rite Aid. Uh, and Erickson. So be watching all these. Uh, hopefully this financial area will tell us what's going on. You have a couple that are trading before that or, or uh, putting the earnings out before that. So we get an idea of what, uh, what the market's going to do and how uh, the overall uh, companies are doing. Uh, so here's CarMax. So you can see here, nice big pull down. We have a little bit of a curl up here. Or typically before earnings, a lot of times you'll see a little bit of a rally. Uh, unless there's a lack of confidence and then you'll see, a, you know, a sell off before. And so we'll see, see if we can break this 50 in the morning, moving average here at 105. You know, we got the 200 here at 118. We have a pullback here of our support line down around $88. Baba. So we talked about this, uh, you know, pre-market um, yesterday in a video that, you know, we'd have a pullback here and here's Baba. So I thought, you know, some of these stocks would come down and at least tag support so we know that there's a pot, better chance of a bounce tomorrow. Uh, a lot of them just left these little, you know, I don't even know if I call them dojis, but, you know, weak dojis here. Or it could be a reversal, you know, turn around Tuesday. A lot of times Tuesday travels, you know, moves in the opposite direction as it did the day before. Uh, and we've had, you know, a good week pullback here. 
So do we get a little pop tomorrow, you know, retracement? Maybe. If not, you know, hopefully we get support down here on this uh, trend line. Netflix, same thing. Pull back here. It's been a week. So, you know, do we come down here and tag and make it a lot of it's possible, but right in the middle. So just be careful out there. A lot of these stocks I'm going to show you are right in the middle. Uh, they don't really have support and they resist. It's Apple. I was on this one today. I was I was watching this thing, hoping it was going to come down and tag uh, the 100 so we could get a nice little bounce maybe. But it just sit there and trickle, 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 and it just was not going to go do it for me um, until the very last end of the day. And then it just came down just right, uh, right on the edge of it. So we're going to see if we can get a bounce off that 100 moving average. If we break below it, it'll be a short. Uh, Tesla, kind of not quite to the 50, uh, but definitely pull way down below the 20. Uh, so that's very bearish. So we'll see, see if, uh, you know, what Tesla does, but uh, right now, got this long tail here, candle. So, uh, you know, it's possible to have some more downside on this. So looking for a play above, you know, the 20 moving average or below the 100 or the 50. Oxy, nice run up, hit resistance, pull back here, right in this little range here. So uh, we'll see if we can get a play tomorrow. J&J, &J, after hitting a tag on a new high, pull back here. And now it's just kind of support within the still this candle range here. So as long as it doesn't break below it, uh, we'll see if we can get a continuation play on J and J. UNH, nice high, and then a little bit of a pull back here. So this may come back here, should retrace possibly at some point down to the top of our trend line. Uh, if I, you know, around you know this, you know, five twenty six area. So we'll we'll see what it does. But either, either we got to we want to rally above that number. The, the the high of the day or uh, or that we want to you know pull back and find support eog another you know killer one it's been going for weeks um and uh hit a new high today pulled back here still above all the moving averages kind of in this little chop range here so just be careful out there azn again new high yesterday or on friday and then today a little bit of a pullback so we'll see if you know pull back here and find support down here on our trend line uh, or, you know, do we rally, continue to rally off of here? Continue to subscribe, watch our videos, and like us so that we can continue bringing this content to you. Hopefully this will help you to find, you know, ideas and trades. And also we provide hopefully a little bit of training that's helpful for you uh, if you're new to trading. Uh, and uh, well, if you want to learn more, definitely go to finwealthlive.com and check out our site. So we continue your bond. Bonds just sitting here hovering. You know, might make a little bit of a bull flag here, uh, but just kind of hovering around these highs right here. Dollar sitting right on, you know, close to that, it's right at that $100. So very elevated on the dollar. So that's not good for uh, typically for, in, you know, inflation. Here's a VIX. Uh, you know, we were below the 20 and now we spiked up and we're, you know, almost above 25. So we're above all the moving averages right now. So if we're going to do that, we're going to probably see, you know, greater pullback in the market. So if we can get back below those moving averages, it'll help us, you know, to get to a rally. Um, I, I'm i more and more thinking that uh, March was our little rally that April usually brings. And we just got it early. A little sneaky, uh, sneaky uh, you know, companies out there trading it uh, beforehand. But hopefully you got some of that, um, a little rally that we had in March. That was a, a nice, quick rally. Um, so, you know, this could be our pullback month. So just be careful out there. Spy, pulling back, kind of right in between the, the 50 and the 200. So just be careful. If we break the, you know, if we break 437, definitely a shorting opportunity. If we get back above the moving average, then obviously, you know, long. Triple Qs, below all the moving averages, below our trend line, support lines. Uh, if the VIX is high, this is going down further, so we'll be shorting it. Semiconductors got support down here, but it's down here at 4, 237. So looking for a continuation play down here or fill the gap above. Dow Jones, it was looking nice, nice bullish run and a little pop up here. Uh, broke back below those moving averages except for the 200. We break the 200, looking for a shorting opportunity. If we get back above the moving averages at 345, then looking for a long IWM. Nice little pullback here in several days, two weeks worth of pullbacks here. So we've got support clear down here at 191. 
uh, you know, we have this candle, maybe we find support right here, possibly. Um, so it's possible, but uh, that we can get some support here, but uh, looking for a bounce at some point, if we break below, you know, this area that we're at right now, they're looking for a short um, XLE. So the energy, energy stocks are doing well overall, but today, you know, like we showed across the board, everybody was selling. Uh, but we're still in a nice range here and should be able to find, hopefully find some strength still in energy. Healthcare, same thing, pull back after a high on Friday. Still within the range of this candle. So looking for, you know, support here and hopefully a balance. Gold, it's gotta give the, get above this 1958 if we wanna run up. And if we do, we have a nice run, hopefully up to 2070. So uh, looking to for a play out of here. Uh, if not, we're just in this tight range that we've had several weeks of uh, hanging out in. Bitcoin, that's what we talked about. Here's our sell-off. We broke that the support area, big old long candle down here. You can see we have several, you know, long breakdown candles here. Um, and so, you know, it's possible we come down here to 37,000 now. Kind of sitting here, you know, kind of towards the middle of this area. So, uh, but yeah, if we come down to 37,000, hope we get a bounce. Right now, Bitcoin is looking weak, and it's below all the moving averages. Ethereum, same thing. They go pull back here. Hopefully, we can get support. You can see we have support back here, a, res a resistance which became support. So hopefully, we can find and bounce right off the, of this area right now where we're at. Luna down to 100. Hopefully, again, find support, bounce off. If not, we might become down at 200. Uh, so that's our stocks or cryptos. You can see across the board, everything's weak. So just be careful out there when you're trading. Make sure you're locking profits in if you want to. If you're on long-term trades, obviously, you know, you may have a totally different game plan on long-term trading. Uh, but just be careful out there. Uh, take advantage of the market, whether it's up or down. You know, we look for trades every day. Uh, and we post those out on our Discord. So definitely, uh, you know, join us. And uh, let's, uh, let's make some money together. Uh, everybody have a great night. We'll review our trades tomorrow um, after hours and uh, get a game plan for the next day. We will talk then. Good night.